I can't do it. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay. <sighs> hey, then what the f is that? Why would you do that to me? On this episode of How Far Is Cat Too Far, friends Haven and Yaya teach each other some harsh lessons. Yaya likes to live on the edge. What's your craziest hookup story? So I got on Grinder and like somebody hit me up. He was like, send me something sexy. So I grabbed ice cubes, I put the ice cubes in my and then it like shot into the camera. <gasps> like projectile. I was like, <laughs> oh! But then he tells me where he's at. So I walk up, it's mind you, it's late at night. It's like two o'clock in the morning. So when I'm like opening the door, this guy has a ski mask on. <gasps> oh my God. And I was like this. Dude, this dude could have like stabbed you up and threw you in his trunk. Haven is fearless too, but in a very different way. I believe everyone should want to look like their best self. He wants to get plastic surgery abroad. We want to go down to Brazil. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like there's horror stories. Mm -hmm. Their goals with these tattoos are the same though. Intentions with these tattoos. Um, this is gonna teach him a lesson. That usually doesn't mean a good thing. It's gonna teach him a lesson. <sighs> well, let's do this thing. It's tattoo time. I am oh, petrified. Right. My nerves are just like all over the place right now. Oh. Oh. We are all done here. Now, let's see what these two have permanently put on each other. You both really f each other up, honestly. Really? Uh-huh. Well, girl, the whole world's about to see it. Come on Wait, up. me first? Yep, yeah, yeah, you're oh, coming no. first. Eat! Do you have any, like, young children in your family? Yes, I go to the pool with my nieces all the time. You just can't do that anymore. Haven, oh, what did you do? Are you ready to see what Haven has blasted on your back <laughs> for the rest of your life? <sighs> OK. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay. <sighs> hey, then what the f is that? Why would you do that to me? A ski mask? Down to <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, so <laughs> are those? Three ice cubes <laughs> out of my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was only two. <laughs> I just want you to think twice before you keep doing these acts that could potentially cause you harm. This tattoo is not going to change how I am. It just actually taught me not to share like specific details about the things that I do with people that you call your friends. I hope you're ready for yours. Have? Oh, God. So, so sorry about this. Are you nervous? I'm not gonna lie, I am nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that you know what Haven gave you, do you regret what you gave him? No, I don't regret it. A little too far. Tattoo far, if you will. I'm sorry, Haven. I just wanna see it so I can get it over with. <laughs> All right. Oh. Haven. Say something. Bro, you put a casket on my arm. You're like so stuck on yourself and your appearance. How do you know what I'm stuck on? Because I'm always with you. Bro, I have a casket on my arm. Cost of beauty is dying. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's him dead in a casket, Yaya. It's disgusting. And it honestly hurts my feelings. Can I give you a hug? Sorry. <sighs> it just sucks, because I feel like I, I was trying to look out for a friend, and I got the short end of the stick. I do apologize. I just don't want it to end like that. How are we leaving today, you guys? Still friends? You leaving together? You leaving separate? I'm just gonna go home. Today, I feel as though there's a wedge in our friendship. I need my space. 
Bye, babe. Good luck. After that dramatic exit, have Haven and Yaya mended their friendship? Okay, guys, so even though we still remain friends, you know, it's still awkward for me to explain to my clients why I have a f casket on my arm and me laying in it, which is weird. At least you don't have ice cubes come out of your ass. Look at this. He has to hide his from men, and I have to hide mine from clients. Yeah.